let's make some rigatoni. First, you want to get some oil and some onions in a pan. I got this garlic bread out and my dog can smell it. <laughs> Set the oven to 375. Look, I'm being lazy. I got this a Harris Teeter. Minced garlic. This was half a teaspoon, so I try to make it a whole teaspoon. So I put like two teaspoons. Then add your beef. Let it cook with the onions and garlic. Don't worry, I season my beef. This is what I use. Make sure to boil your pasta. Rigatoni. I had to test the rigatoni and it wasn't done, so I had to add it in for like three more minutes. After you drain your meat, put it back in the pan. This is where you want to add your sauce and your provolone. Yes, I chose provolone and not mozzarella. Mix it all up. This is what it looks like, but I know what you're thinking. It looks dry as hell, Janelle. It looks so dry. And you know, my husband came over, he was like, yo, that looks dry. And I was like, go get me the other sauce. Yeah. What is that? Cheese, 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 cheese. So we added more sauce. And then I put like two more slices of provolone on top because I was like, it's not cheesy enough. And you know you gotta always have cheese. Make sure to cover it while it's cooking. And then bake it for 350 for about 30 minutes. This garlic bread came out great. That's so cheesy. So I didn't know how to maneuver this. I was like, you know what? Maybe I should grab it with my hands. And I was like, no, just like, <laughs> just full send it. Yeah, it was good. 